Hi, everyone. I'm Clyde Bryant, and welcome to episode five of the Uptown Expert Podcast. I'm sitting here today with the one and only Kevin Medina. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, my guy. What's up, Clyde? Um, th- people are probably wondering, like, who, who is this guy? Who's this guy that you're bringing to sit down beside you? Yeah, the Nike, you know, Ni- Nike attire. That's you know, it. You know, he's just sitting here, <laughs> just so chill. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not a realtor. No. He's no, not, not, not a he's not a mortgage broker. Not a mortgage broker. <laughs> uh, he's not, he's not a financier of any sort. Nope. Um, Kev is my personal trainer. Yes. Yes. Kev's hey. my guy. Kev's the guy that keeps me going and, you know, is, is the reason why I get up and go to the gym and put in the work sometimes. I'm like a regular <laughs> person. I still cancel no, at do, times, you, do, yeah. you know, but you I do, do my do. fair share. Yeah, yeah. We'll and get, we'll get into that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get there. <laughs> we'll get there. But, you know, for me, it's important to, that, that we had you on and to help, you know, tell the story that is, you know, why is, you know, mental mental health uh, important but not just that why is your physical health important yeah and how does that contribute to your every day yeah. and all the things that you do mm-hmm. so you know do we dare tell the people like you know how we actually got to know each other and, and a little bit of that story yeah i think i think it's a pretty interesting story um before anything clyde thanks for having me here you know i feel feel honored to be on on your on your podcast and um yeah, let's. How about, how about you start with before you met me? What were you doing? Oof, you know, I like many people. You know, you you get to a point in your life where you're you're sitting there and you're saying, okay, I realize I got to make a change, right? Um, you know, I I took a look in the mirror and uh, I wasn't happy, and it's not that I was terribly out of shape, but I wasn't the guy that I used to be. Uh, you know, I wasn't the guy that did the hard work after you know having my motorcycle accident and going through all that um you know i i battled to get back in shape and you know played soccer and and did that for a number of years after my accident yeah and you know when i slowed down and stopped playing soccer i kind of i don't know i guess things changed right yeah and uh it's a big shift it was a big shift right and it's not that like i'm not like travel around the world guy or, or by any means but it's still it's still me. And, you yeah. know, I looked at it and I said, how did I get here? <laughs> right. I'm like, I thought I was still, I thought I was still like doing okay, but it's not the Clyde of old. And, um, I still remember, like, I think, uh, I went to a family vacation in January and, um, we were off in Jamaica and it was great, you know, a huge family vacation. We had like my, my wife was there. We had both sides there, some extended family, her sisters, her parents, you know, her sister's husband, uh, everybody. everybody, you know, except, the except brothers, the, the new <laughs> wife, everybody was there. Right. So, you know, and I remember I was super happy. And um, then I came back and I looked at the pictures. The one with the red shorts. The one with the red shorts. <laughs> uh, the famous, the famous, the famous red, red short, short picture. Pick. <laughs> no one will ever see this picture ever again. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put it like, let's put it like right here. You no, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, so, no. you gotta put the after one like right above the finger here. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it, and, it. <laughs> and uh, it was kind of my reality check, right? Yeah. And um, I looked at it and I said, I don't want to be that guy anymore. I don't want to be the guy that uh, is 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 viewed in this picture because that's not who I thought I was. Yeah, and I th- I think when you like when you came to me and we were talking and you showed me that picture, um, it w- you've been a fit guy your whole life. You know, you were an athlete growing up. You you played soccer, so I'm sure like you've always stayed in shape. And I think that when you seen that picture, it was kind of a reflection of where your life style was at at that point in time mm-hmm. and um i think it was just more than the physical appearance that you know might have like given you that like shock factor because I, I remember your face when you showed me that picture and and you didn't look happy no and you expressed to me that you didn't look happy and, and i think that it wasn't only like the appearance that threw you off i think it was that um 
what you, you weren't doing, what you knew you were capable of doing. You know, exactly. once an athlete, I'm sure you were, you know, moving a lot, playing um, in good shape. And um, you touched a little bit uh, on it with after the motorcycle accident. A lot of, uh, you sustained a few injuries that just slow you down. So mm -hmm. when you reached out to me, like, um, what was your biggest concern? Was it the physical or was it that you wanted to get back in a, in a place where you felt like the old Clyde, you know, being realistic, that that was probably of the largest part of it. Of you know, I wanted to be the guy that I knew I could be, yeah. the guy that you know got up off the floor no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And you know, sometimes your perception of yourself might actually not match the reality. And for me, well, during that time, maybe that's what was going on because I, was, I wasn't focused on the, the physical side of things and I was just, you know, doing other parts, making bad decisions, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I say bad decisions, it's, I mean, bad health, like what I was eating, the amount of alcohol I was consuming, you know, whatever was going on. And yeah. I'm not saying that it was excessive, but it's, you know... In life, you look at it and you say this. If I know that I need to drink eight cups of water a day, if that's the number, I don't know. For now, I know it's 10 now, <laughs> right? We're also dehydrated. We're on there. <laughs> uh, half your body weight in ounces. So there you yeah. go, right? Um, so you got to drink your, you know, drink the water, whatever it is, your eight cups, 10 cups, whatever it is. If you know that's 10 cups, you got to drink it, then why, aren't, why, aren't, why don't we just drink it, yeah. right? Because that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. If we know that you're supposed to have some form of physical activity in your daily, in your week, in your month, then why are we not just doing that? And uh. it was all of those things that came to my mind. And I looked at it and I said, how can I run one part of my life so strict, so rigid as I do with the business and then be so relaxed with the other side? Mm -hmm. And... For me, and anybody that yeah. knows me knows, I always say one plus one always has to equal two. Yeah, and yeah, it did. yeah. <laughs> he does say that a lot. He does. He does. You do say that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that that was the biggest thing for me. So I just, I just said I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta get back to it. And you know, I train with a lot of trainers. Right? To be honest, you know, there was a couple guys before that I that I trained with, but. There was something about when you were training me, and we, you know, we talk, we talk well. Thank you. You yeah. get me. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's a different experience when you can relate to someone. It's your experience. Exactly. Right? You know, uh, as a coach, like, I'm here to listen to, to your problems and, and not put my uh, philosophies into your either, like, training regimen or your lifestyle that, uh, that you currently have. It's about matching you where you're at and from there improving um, – your fitness and, you know, your phys physical capabilities from there. And, and I think that I, that's one, one way I, I approach my, my personal training business is um, it's client focus. I'm a coach first. Before anything, I'm a coach. So I, I'm happy you said that, you know. Um, it kind of gives me a, a nudge that I'm going in the right direction. It's funny that you say that, you know, and for anybody that's paying attention and has watched, uh, you know, some of the stuff, that we put out, you know, your sentiment just now, your statement just now that you're a coach first, it's about the clients, it's about the people. Yeah. That's what we preach here at Uptown. That is, you know, the, our core foundation. And it's, it's, I've never even said this to you. No. Right? <laughs> but that's how much, you know, when I said, Kev, you resonate with me and it just works. And that's why people, why? who's Kevin? So we're here. <laughs> exactly. Right. And yeah. I mean, why? Who's this guy? So <laughs> why don't we tell people who is Kevin? Hey. Tell, tell us a little bit about you. All right. Well, I'm Kevin Medina. Uh, well, I've been a trainer for 10 years now. 10 yeah. years. Yeah. 10 years, man. 10 years in the trenches. Uh, to me, it sounds like a long time and I'm planning to be a trainer for the rest of my life. Uh, I was working at a commercial gym for seven, about seven to eight years, and now I'm running my own personal training business. It's called Forward Training, and uh, yeah, things things are going good. Um, a little bit about me is uh, my fitness journey started as 
a mixed martial artist, you can say. I, I, my dad wanted me to learn how to defend myself. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was in high school, grade 10, I believe, and my dad is just one day, he's like, yeah, I signed you up for a, for a martial arts school. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're here, you know, in this location, you know, here's the schedule, make it work. It's in the evening, so it's I after like school. That. Yeah, <laughs> I like them already. And I'm like, man, I, 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 like... I was just shocked at that moment, but I was pumped. I'm like, all right, like, you know, it sounds cool. Um, I've always followed boxing. I, I've always been like, I wasn't an aggressive kid, but like, I love play fighting, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think I was just a normal boy. Exactly. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I started with um, martial arts. I trained in Muay Thai. I trained in boxing and jujitsu. And uh, yeah, from there, like my passion started to grow for, for physical well-being or physical health or fitness. And, uh, yeah, from there I signed up for a gym, a gym membership. And, man, you know what's crazy? Um, for me, it was, when I, not, like, now that I think back to it, I was in love. I loved working out, but mm-hmm. I loved f- figuring out why I was doing certain things. I would watch, I, at that time, which was, like, what, I think, like, 2010, it was all, all the inf- information were, were on, like, articles and YouTube. And I would watch YouTube videos for hours and hours about training and exercise. So, um, yeah, I, I've always loved it. I've always enjoyed it. And, uh, and yeah, now here I am, you know, 10 years later, personal trainer, and I'm loving it and not, not stopping. Everybody, everybody's got a story, right? And we look and we say from being signed up as a uh, signed up for, for, for martial, for arts. martial, martial arts, arts, arts yeah to becoming a personal trainer <laughs> but it's, it's why like why why personal training like of all the things like you did all these you know crazy things you were you know doing the training the martial arts pieces why become a trainer uh you know at, at that time when i signed up to this commercial gym uh there was a poster on like on the change room and uh, I remember it was a workout before school. So it was like 6 a.m. Well, and uh, I, I don't and, do and those this times. is like within my first year. Of, <laughs> I know, me either. <laughs> but I, I did. I remember I was training with my cousin at that time. And uh, it was before school, high school as well. And um, I seen that poster after the workout. And, and it was like, uh, you know, become a personal trainer. Uh, you know, email this, sign up for this, blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, I remember looking at that. and I'm like, wow, like that would be such a cool job. I just remember thinking that. I didn't email them or anything. Again, I was still in high school, but I, I think like that planted that, that seed that of like coaching or personal training. And I think it just started growing with time. So uh, before I became a trainer, I was actually uh, in, like I was, I was in a crossroads. Like uh, I wanted to go to school for, uh, or, or get into the trades, right? Because I have a lot of family members that are in trades and it's a hard job. It is a hard job, but it's a well-paying job mm-hmm. and it's a secure job. I remember at that time they were like, uh, the, the teachers would say like, yeah, like, you know, trades business is going to boom. Mm-hmm. You know, you guys you get into the trades. Uh, this is the time to join. And so I was gearing towards that direction. And at the same time when I was training and working out, um, I don't know, I was just being pulled by like, Again, I just love fitness. Like, mm-hmm. that, that's how I can say it. So I just love fitness. And um, I was working, I started working at this commercial gym just as a front desk staff, right? And I was already enrolled for school and ready to go, ready, ready to start the, the other career I mentioned. And then I remember watching this, this YouTube video. It's by a guy, a guy he's, he's, he's named uh, Elliot Hulse. Mm-hmm. Do, do you know who that is? No, I don't know that he's, one. I gotta look that one up. Evan. He's like an OG, like, YouTube guru, Elliot Halls, you know. Okay. Um, I don't really follow his page anymore, but back then I did. And uh, he was, like, a fitness guy, but at the same time, like, people would ask him questions about life. And somebody asked him a question that kind of related to me, and which was, uh, you know, like, I want to do one thing, but I also want to do the other thing. Which one should I do? Mm-hmm. Just blatantly asked that. And then uh, his response is something that, you know, I... I took that advice at that moment, and I still continue listening to that advice. And it was, uh, his advice was, when you're faced with two major decisions, go for the one that scares you the most. Mm. Boom. And I'm like, I'm like, that's my answer. And because when it comes to personal training, like, again, trades is hard, 
but it's more linear. It's a more linear mm -hmm. path. You know, you move up the ranks and, and you know, you, you make more, more, more money. And with personal training, it's like, oh, well, there's, you got to get your clients. You got to know customer service. You got to know nutrition. You got to know, um, like uh, some, some physio work, some personal, um, then, then exercise, uh, you, there's just so much. You got to know sales. You got to build so, a business. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> I was literally a bit like, even though I was working for a commercial gym, it was my business. I had to go get the clients, mm -hmm. you know, like I was a young guy having to go talk to so many people and, you know, but it scared me and mm -hmm. I loved training. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. So I remember at that time I, I reached out to, um, well, my fitness manager at that time actually reached out to me. Um, I still talk to him. He's still like a mentor to me. He was my first mentor and, and still one. And uh, uh, we were talking and we sat down and then he just told me the kind of laid out a plan. And yeah, I went for it. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Set me up. That was it. Yeah. yeah I never, <laughs> never looked back from there. I just, I just kept going, just kept learning, kept improving my skill set, kept adding more tools to the, to the toolbox. And and yeah, man, it's been a journey, and it's even till this day, it's, I can, it, like, there's just so much to do, man, but <laughs> I, I love it. I'm scared, but I love it, you know? Well, you got to take a risk, right? Sometimes you got to jump, you got to take the risk, you got to bet on you. Yeah, yes, right? yeah. And that's that's probably the the part that really stands out, because, you know, there's a lot of people that I think forget, you know, if you really want to achieve in life, you got to bet on yourself. Yes, Right. Yeah. And we've talked about, you know, you got to wake up and own. Right. And, you know, Kevin sitting here now, you realize that. Right. Yeah. You just got to wake up and you got to do it yourself, but you got to do it for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. you know. Sometimes it's not just about you. So I guess the next question I'm going to say is what's what's your why? What's the reason why you do what you do? Do what you do, pardon me. What, what, <laughs> yeah. what motivates you? My why. I, I like that you asked the why because when it comes to motivation, um, I'm more of the type of guy to build discipline versus motivation because motivation comes and goes. And, I've, and I'm, I've seen that and experienced that throughout my whole 10 years. So um, I'm very big on instilling like habits mm -hmm. versus going on emotion. Yes. So, uh, but my why, uh, man, I have, there's, there's so many layers to my why, but the first one would be that because I can, you know, um, at this point in my life, I am very blessed to be able to, you know, let's say run, jump, pull things, push things, uh, pick things up, carry things. And that can be taken away from me in a second. Yes, it you can. Know? I, I, I like, I've, I've read some crazy horror stories that people's lives just and i've seen as well through clients right even your, like yourself you went through a motor cha life changing motorcycle accident one day to the next boom you you your, your life changed right my whole life yeah changed. so i take advantage of that right i never want to look back and be like i wish i did that you know i i wish i'd taken advantage like of that because there are people right now that would do anything, give up anything in the world to be able to get into the gym and either, you know, run or mm -hmm. pick some weights up. Uh, so I think like that is, that's my biggest why. But the second one would be um, for you guys, for my clients, I got to put myself through the, through the trenches and I have to, I'm not, I could get, like I was telling you, I'm a coach first and I want to learn everything I can about working out. And there's no better way to learn than doing it. I can read books all day. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of people that do read books, how much do you remember from that? <laughs> you know? 80, so, 20 maybe. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. So it's not only about reading and studying. I mean, that's great. I, I do that too. But you have to apply it. Mm -hmm. You have to apply it on yourself. And then from there, I kind of, you know, put my, my touch in it and I bring that to clients. I filter out what didn't feel right or what didn't work. And then I apply that to my clients. I never do a client. I never make a, a client do an exercise that I haven't done or taken it through a program that I haven't put myself through. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm I'm here to to explore and and learn for you guys as well. That's a very uh, I'm gonna say passionate and uh, yeah, interesting <laughs> response. But you know I would expect nothing less from you. And you know it's it's 
uh, like what we were saying earlier off off camera, you know, it's one of the things that that resonates with with me about training with you. You know, I'm a lot of you know the people that know me know that. I'm not a morning person, <laughs> okay? Um, I will admit it, and for anybody that knows, I, and uh, I apologize for all those that see me in the morning. Um, but, you know, I, I get up in the morning yeah. and I gotta do me, okay? Yes. This yeah, is yeah. my time, yeah. right? Um, so to train with me in the morning is not always a pleasant experience. <laughs> you're good, you're good. You know, right? you, you, you but, do what's you know, so. I do what I do what yeah. I wanna do when I wanna do it, right? <laughs> Even if it's a modified version of what I give you, you still do it. I still know? do it. Right? And I'll take that. I'll take exactly. <laughs> but the point that I'm trying to say here is, you know, I I take the time to get up. Yeah. I get there, regardless of if I feel like doing it or not. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And although I will sprinkle in those days where I'm like, Kev, I'm giving you the text message and yeah. I just can't because I'm human. Yeah, you're human. But yeah. we talked about, or you talked about building the habit. Yeah. And that's probably one of the biggest points that you could probably talk about. And, you know, it's creating the habit, creating the... Enforcing the habit, I enforcing would say. Enforcing the habit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you want me to la elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, because I think that's that's probably one of the, the most important parts yeah. about training, no? Yeah. I, I, man, when, when it comes to habits, there's, uh, I got this from uh, the book uh, Atomic Habits. It's mm -hmm. from James Clear. And I it's love about, that book. It's, I love that book. book I, I, I think everybody should read it. It applies to, you know, to everybody. It's funny. And we didn't have this conversation, but I, I was given that uh, book prior to going on the uh, Dominion Lending Center's um, uh, inspiration trip. It was an uh, Inspire 2023 yeah the one i just yeah, went yeah to. okay okay cool and so you know we got this package one day in the mail and i'm just like mish what what is this thing because i'm like i'm not even expecting it right you yeah, sign yeah. up who knows <laughs> and then it was uh, like so i oh you know we put it to the side we're like okay we'll look at it before we go yeah and then the next thing you know is like wednesday night before we leave, like we're leaving i think i like Tuesday morning, I'm like, Kev, I can't come to the gym. I'm yeah. still working. I gotta be, I'm leaving. I got work to do. And I remember these packages. And uh, so I opened the package. Michelle opens the package. And we look. I'm, there's two books in there. And we're like, we looked at each other and we're two like, uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, do we got to read these before oh, we... Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Oh, man. So we said, oh, I just remember looking at her and I'm like, okay. Um, I'm an audiobook guy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Cool, thank God cool. to audiobooks. Love Audible. Um, so, you know, pop on Audible, boom, 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 James Clear, Atomic Habits, boom. Put it on, on two times speed. Nah, <laughs> I, I went through it. That's when I binged it, nice. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Man, that book was... It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, it was, there's, there's so many pieces that came from it. And then, like, next thing I know, we were talking about it at the gym. You brought it up. Yeah, you, yeah. I brought up the book, and then you brought up that you met the author of the book. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I sh I sh why wasn't I invited to Mexico? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and but you know, there's so many pieces that I, I would say, um, like you, I took away from it. Not to put yeah. you on the spot, but is there anything that you would say yeah. that really resonated with you? Yeah, man. Um, for me, it was like the casting good votes, bro. Like that is just. When I heard that and he was just saying it, um, it was just like, you, you know, those things that you hear and you're, you're just absorbing everything and, you know, like you're, you're feeling the words. And uh, I, I think those are so important because uh, it applies to to everybody. And when it, in the context of, of the gym, I think that you just got to cast those good votes. And I always tell people um, when don't. When, when you're about to start a, a fitness regimen, don't bite off more than, than you can chew. Mm -hmm. Because then you're going to you're gonna miss things, and then you're going to cast bad votes, mm -hmm. right? And if you cast bad votes, then, you know, you're building that habit of, of missing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if you just, you know, scale it down and work your way up to a, um, an ideal, let's say, fitness routine or fitness schedule, let's say it's for you, it's four times a week, start at one time a week or two times a week, and then start to cast those good votes start to you know reinforce it and like to yourself that hey i can't do this 
And then once you, you know, feel comfortable with, let's say, two workouts, add that next workout mm -hmm. and then repeat that process. And you can do that with everything. You can do that with nutrition as well. Start eating a little bit healthier. Yeah. You know, I, I remember that was like topic of conversation when we were in the gym. Yeah. Like, Kev, yeah. I promise you I'm eating clean. I, I promise. <laughs> it's yeah. like salads yeah. and like steak. <laughs> like I, I promise I'm not, I'm not eating the junk food. I love pizza. But, you know. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know you gave up pizza, man. I did. I gave up pizza. Whoa. I gave up beer. I, I changed my whole. You did. Like eating re like regime. But, you know. And it shows now. It definitely shows now. Thank God. Yeah, man. I would be really mad if it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, I know. It definitely <laughs> shows now. You are at such a good place when it comes to your physique. I see you trans you completely transform yourself. And I hope you do share these pictures one day because people <laughs> need to know how what you what you put yourself through. A big part of it going back was the realization of that's not who I want to be. That's not the person that I want to portray. Yeah. And you know understanding that I just I started building the good habits I started doing the things that I know I should have been doing in the first place and you know there's so many books or audio books or places that you can turn that are just going to give you this information yeah and so it doesn't take a podcast or a book to remind you no. hey <laughs> you know you're supposed to do this yeah, yeah, yeah. right forget it you, you could be an athlete prior you could be a regular person you're supposed to do this. You got to do it, man. And, yeah. you know, so it, it's, you just start applying that in all aspects of life. Yeah. Right. And that's, yeah. that's where I think the change starts to happen. Right. And people look and they say, well, Clyde, like how, you know, where did, where did this, how'd you do this? Where did it come from? Your, your fitness journey, your, you know, the business journey yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all of these things that we've put together and all of it is just, Building good habits. Yeah, they, they see the tip of the iceberg, right? Yeah, yeah that's what they're true. seeing, right? But right? I'm underneath, not thinking the, of underneath the water, it's like <laughs> exactly huge, you know, mountain. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right, right. right? Of, of, of hard work. work. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard work. work showing up day to day. And I love what you said uh, about that. You do things whether you feel like it or not. And one of the quotes that that uh, I always like hold close to me is uh, successful people do what they have to do, whether they feel like it or not. Yeah. And I learned that uh, coming out of high school. I, I forgot where I seen that quote or who it's from. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but, we have to find out. Yeah, we got to find out. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that, that quote uh, has really uh, like changed the trajectory of at least my life and my business. Yeah. And it's, I think, you know, anybody that, doesn't just listen to that, but actually takes the moment to absorb it. Yeah. And then apply it. Yeah. Dang. Sky's the limit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's really what, you know, what life is about, what business is about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're talking about, you know, fitness and health, um, you know, and why, how, these things all relate to having or operating a successful business. Yeah. And, you know, people are probably thinking, okay, so how does this resonate? Why? Why do you need to do this? Why do you need to be, you know, I'm not going to say the, the picture of, of perfection or whatever perfection no, yeah. means nowadays, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. But like whatever you want in your life, we all start at different plateaus, yeah. right? The different, different layers, different levels. Yeah, different stages. Different yeah. stages. Yeah. And, you know, whatever stage you're at, okay, let's start there. And now where do you want to be? Yeah. What do you want from your life? What do you want to look like? What yeah. do you want to weigh? How healthy do you want to be? Because yeah. it's not just about being the strong buff guy. I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be me. <laughs> I, mean, I love that. <laughs> I love that. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's it. It all comes down to that, right? It's just like wanting to be, do it like yourself again, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, man, that, that, that's, that's a good point. So how does that tie in for Kevin? How does, how does, you know, the mental health and physical health, how does that tie in for Kevin and, and the success of his business? Uh, when it comes to mental health and with, with fitness, uh, I mean, if you look at it, your body literally rewards you with feel good hormones when you work out. Mm -hmm. Every time I've coached 
you know, hundreds of clients. And I've seen clients on their good days, but then I've also seen them on their bad days. <laughs> I'm a laughing. Lot. I know. I'm a sorry, lot. Kev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but, man, one thing, I, I always like to, to ask a, my client after a workout. I don't know if you've noticed, but I always go like, okay, how's the workout? How do you feel? And, and I would say like 99.99999, maybe 100% of the time, a client says, I feel much better than when I came in. Yeah. And I think that should be enough to, to show how much working out can, or, or training or just being physically active can impact your mental state. Yeah. And once you're in a mental state, then you bring that to your business. I would say I'm probably happier after I work out. Yeah. And like my staff probably like me more. That's probably why Michelle's yeah. always trying to get me to go to the gym. Literally, always. Oh, now I get it. Yeah. Are you guys, they think they're slick. It does put you in a better state. And I mean, you said you asked for myself and I'm in a place, well, I'm in a work environment where I'm always talking to people, mm -hmm. right? And I need to bring my best self to, to my clients. And so working out puts me in that, mental state where I can be the best coach for them. So I would be, I'd be doing them a disservice if, you know, I didn't train and if I gave them anything less than my optimal self. So that's how I can apply. That's how like, you know, uh, that's the kind of vehicle fitness is for me and my business, but it can, you know, go to anybody it, it can be a vehicle for anybody's businesses and whatever business you're at because at the end of the day having a good mental state is going to make you better at what you do Very always true. and aside from the mental health is you're building discipline mm -hmm. discipline is freedom yeah right and i think working out is a good opportunity that everybody can take an advantage of of building that discipline to mm -hmm. themselves like showing up to the workout you know, giving their, you know, giving their best shot in yeah. that workout, whether if you feel bad, like if you feel sluggish or lazy that day, whatever your 100% looks like that day, give it to yourself because I you promise start. you're going to bring that to your business. Yeah. Right. I'm not saying I do it all the time, but I always try to show up. Yeah. Right. And that's the one thing that I, you know, I think that really resonates with, you know, I'm, when we're talking and we're doing our piece, all of a sudden it's okay. Kev, look, I get it. Um, I'm going to show up. I know I'm late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I laugh. I'm sorry. Right? I know I'm late. Uh, I'm going to show up, and I'm going to give it the 30 minutes. I'm going to give yeah. it the 20 minutes. Uh, whatever it is, I'm yeah. just going to show up it's because we're vote. building that habit. Today. Yeah. Today, it's we're going back to the beginning. We're building yeah. the habit. Yep. Yeah. Right? But, you know, it's about showing up, Right? And that's where, I, I, again, if, why we're talking about this. We're talking about showing up. Yeah. Showing up every day, regardless of how you feel. Yeah. And take that and apply it to that day because every day is going to be different, man. Yeah. And apply it to everything. Exactly. So, man, we're, we're, we kind of kind of went deep on that one. Yeah, Sorry. that's deep. Yeah, yeah. No, I love that, though. <laughs> like, there's so 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 many layers to fitness. And a, lo a lot of the times, people just see this shiny object. The mm -hmm. shiny object is, um, let's say, a six-pack. Mm -hmm. or <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves a good six-pack. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But you'll come to learn really fast that, that fitness does so much more for you than just giving you a six pack. This right? is true. Or, you know, being able to, you know, let's say lift 500 pounds. Yeah, or not interested. Yeah, whatever the shiny <laughs> object is for you, right? They want the big, I'm not, no. Or the big bite. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, <laughs> I'm like, Kev, I don't care. Yeah. Don't, no, I'm not wanna, interested. I just yeah. want to be healthy. You're like, do you want to get, no, yeah. I don't want to get bigger. I want to be me. But look, but look what <laughs> happened though. Like, you have a six pack. <laughs> 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 I it's care. crazy. I don't really care. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that that happens, you know. That is just like a, it's a byproduct of fitness. Yeah. But it's not the product. It's no. not what what it really does for you. Correct. I think that's one of the best parts about it, right? And where it's just like all of a sudden, you know, you're you're working out again. You're feeling more like you, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you just you feel better, you, you, you're, you're sharper, mm -hmm. you know, your ideas are flowing, and all of a sudden, you're just doing better in life all around. 
because it's like, you know, I, I, I talk about it with, with the staff all the time. It's like putting together the, the pieces of the machine, yeah. right? You, they got to all work. Yeah. You can't be, you know, mentally strong, have this goal in mind, but then not take care of yourself physically. Yeah. It, it just doesn't work. And, you know, I, I really try to be very rigid about this point. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it on camera. If I don't show up, you got you to gotta text me and make sure I show up. <laughs> right? All right. I'm going right. to put it out there. All right. I won't, no more canceling. No we gotta more show canceling. Up. Hey. We got to show up. Right? We scheduled it. We yeah. got to do it. Right? Yeah. How I many do, times a week are you committing to oh, that? Oh, he's going to make me commit on yeah. camera. Yeah. He's going to make me do it. I will always be there because here's the thing. I know we got it. Yeah. So... We always try to do two, but I'm going to commit to one. All right. I love that. Okay. Let's right? do it. Yeah. What did we just yeah. do? Yeah. We're building the habit. Yeah. We're building the habit. We're building the habit. Working backwards. <laughs> we're building to an ideal schedule. That's where we want to be. Yeah. Right? So one. We're going once a week, guaranteed. All right. And I also need recovery time because your <laughs> workouts are insane. <laughs> <laughs> so this is understanding the recovery time. Oh, man. I'm like, you know, I worked out with Kev the next, that night. I'm like, okay, hot tub. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're a busy guy, man. So it's like <laughs> you need you need that workout to fuel you here too. Yeah, right? that's true. So here's the question: What do you say to the person or the people that are listening now, and they're saying, you know, I want to go. Um, I know I should go, but I just haven't done it yet. Man, I would say, don't. Don't wait to feel good to go work out. Mm. Work out so you can feel good. A lot of people are, are waiting. And I, again, I'm talking from experience. I do like a lot of consultations throughout the year. And I talk to my clients all the time. And I'm not just there to, you know, put them through a random workout. I'm there to coach them just so they can um, be better at the gym so they can be better outside of the gym whether it's through movements, you know, moving better, less aches, less pain, or whether it's through changing their body composition, so just feeling more comfortable in what they wear. Again, that will elevate your mood. Mm -hmm. And or... Um, Got to feel good, look good. Feel good, look good. Yeah, no, that, that is a big part of it, right? Um, but it's not the only part of it, and that's one thing that I, I like to get across on my client, mm -hmm. to all my clients. And uh, yeah, so a, a lot of the feedback that I've received is that they wish they started sooner. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow never comes. So if you have, if you've been, you know, pondering that thought of, I want to get back to the gym, a lot of the times people, um, or like, like in general, people in general, they think of something and they kind of say it and that kind of makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. And even though they're not doing it, just the thought of I'm going to do it makes them feel good, mm -hmm. which it's not a bad place to start, but don't stay stuck in that mental state. Yes. Don't stay stuck at I'm going to start. If, if you have that thought, do it. Move just, it. That 1%, you got to yeah, move it. Yeah. Move. Right. And, and it, it can and do something you, you enjoy. Um, I'm a personal trainer. I love strength training. There's so many benefits to, to, uh, somebody who strength trains, but, if you hate weights, don't do weights. So uh, I actually made a post on Instagram yesterday and um, it revolved around the quote, the man who loves to walk will walk further than the man who loves the destination. Mm -hmm. So find something you like. It can be yoga or it can be like myself, like a martial art or... Um, it can be strength training, or it can just be a Zumba class. Mm -hmm. Anything that'll I get you. I saw you dancing yeah. the other day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love dancing. I love martial arts, and I love weight training. Like that's yeah. that's what I love, and and those are the three things I focus on, and those things elevate me and, and keep me keep me going, keep me happy. But yeah, just just start. That, that's what I, that's the best advice. Don't wait to feel good. Work out to feel good. Anyone that that's kind of still sitting on the fence about it all. I'm not sure how, how much more you need to just take that moment and, you know, let that be your start, right? Let that be your, 
let this be your your moment that you make that decision. Yeah. To back, yes. Like right. This this, this moment, right now. This right now. Little this moment, is your moment. <laughs> right. Because like especially if you took the time and you were listening to us, then you were listening to us for a reason. And yeah. um, you know, everybody has one. Everybody ends up doing something for a reason and you know maybe this is yours and you know yeah. I like most people we found our our reason why and then you put it all together and that's all we're talking about so you know I'm really hoping that um hopefully we we can inspire some people because that's what this one's about yeah yeah also. and making sure that um you know we can hopefully just continue to drive a good message out there and uh I don't know, Kev, I, I'm going to say, you know, is there any parting words of wisdom that you have for, uh, for anyone, anyone listening? I feel like I, I said a lot. So <laughs> how about I, I, you put yourself in a, in a place where let's say you didn't come to me that day and began your journey of, you know, recovering and improving your your physical and mental self um and this Clyde right now can go to that Clyde who has made the decision to not go to the gym what will you tell that what will you tell that person what would your future well or I mean your present right now tell your past that is a that's deep that's a great question I think I think people will learn by by seeing it and there's nobody here better than then inspiring than you yourself, man, because you are a great success story. You should be so proud of yourself. So, thanks, Kev. Um, I, 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 you did not tell me you were gonna do this. So this <laughs> is this is gonna be real for sure. I mean, this is how you know. This is everything we do. We don't rehearse here. Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like like we're, this is what we do. So, all right. Here's a bit of truth. I would say to you know my my past self or to anybody that's that's in that similar position one the first step is taking a good look in the mirror and realizing that if you don't like where you are change it yeah and if you don't want to go down that road of being the unhappy guy doing things to make you unhappy and you know not being the the guy that was in shape or making the good decisions or whatever it might have been mm -hmm. and if I looked and I said well hey if I had to go through all this work <laughs> because it has been a lot it's been a lot yeah, yeah. I don't, it, this is my, a lot for me yeah <laughs> I, 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 everything I'm um you know, if I looked and I said, you got to go through all of this work to get there, would I have done it? <sighs> it's been hard, but I still would have done it. Yeah, nice, yeah. But um, yeah. did I think that at that point in time, did I think that it was easy? No. I never thought it was easy. And, and that's good, you know. I feel like a lot of times when people reach, when people do something, like w when you're going to start a fitness journey, you know working out is going to be hard. And a, a lot of the times we give up when it's hard, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you have to tell yourself, okay, well, I knew it was going to be hard. This is what hard feels like. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I signed up for this. Oof. That's, a, that's a good piece of advice you said there, man. All this to say, we want to make sure that uh, we can start taking better care of, yourself, of ourselves. Yeah. Right. Um, and so... Before we uh, we sign off here, Kev, why don't we um, tell people where to find you in case they're looking to to take care of themselves? Cool. Uh, well, you can find me through uh, Instagram. Uh, my handle is Kevin X Medina, or through my website, it's uh, ForwardTraining.ca, and you can uh, reach out to me through any of those two um, platforms and. Uh, and hopefully we can, you know, get started on this journey and I can be your guide to help you to get to the destination which you want to you, you want to get to. Sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I guess that's that was, it. That, man, that was great. Thanks a lot for having me. Good talk, man. You made me uh, dig deep and really think about a lot. And 
it's, uh, it's an honor to be here, Clyde. Thanks for coming, Kev. Uptown experts. Hey. We're up.